Hey everybody, my name is Derek Dupont with Accepted, and today I'm talking to Miles Hanna. He's a freshman at Point Park University studying musical theater. We get into the importance of origin stories, how to set your goals and how those impact your worldview, and then also practice to keep your mind right, because we all know that we need to keep focused and have a clear mind to be our best selves out there. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everybody, we're here with Miles Hanna today. Super excited to chat with Miles today. Thanks for being here. How's it going, Miles? Really well. It's snowing outside. It was a white Christmas. We all like those. So how are you yeah. though? How are you? Good. Same. Yeah. Here in Columbus, Ohio, we're getting our first real snow, I think. And where are you right now, Miles? I'm in Harrisburg, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So cool. Cool. We're, we're living in, I guess. <laughs> nice. Yeah, for sure. So, Miles, I'd love for you just to introduce yourself for those of you who don't know you. Uh, just let us know who you are and really what you're up to. Okay, awesome. Um, so, I am Miles uh, Hanna. I'm Miles Hanna. Miles D. Hanna, that's my full name. But um, I currently go to Point Park University for a BFA in musical theater. I am just, I'm uh, a performer. I, I like to say I'm a performer than just saying I'm a singer actor. I'm a performer. Uh, I love it all. I write too. I do a lot of it, and I just enjoy the art so much. And I just love it. So, yeah. Awesome. That's super cool. So let's talk about Point Park real quick. Uh, I'd love to hear. So you're really just getting started there and digging into things. Um, yes. What's it been like so far? And then what's it been like this year? Uh, this has been a crazy year for everyone in universities all over the world. And I'd love to hear your perspective on being in performance right now. What's that like? How's Park, Point Park doing it? And how's it been for you? Great question. Um, so I, I don't think I clarify. I am a freshman. I, maybe I said that. I'm not sure. But I'm a freshman at Point Park. Um, so Point Park has been doing really well. Uh, I, would, I would say my opinion that we have done really well uh, concerning uh, COVID reasons. Um, so we do a thing where and I'm assuming most schools do this, but we do like a hybrid uh, where either if you want to choose one online, you can go online, but you can't choose otherwise. But if you want to do remote, you can do remote, but certain classes are going to be online. And so it's a sort of hybrid, fully remote type deal. Um, performance wise, it's been really interesting. I would say that Point Park has really, in some, I would say Point Park has really, jump forward into the virtual realm of performance. So we do, so I've seen some shows that are over Zoom. I've seen a good amount of shows where they're filmed and they're not over Zoom and people are together. Uh, for example, I was in the show, I, uh, a bridge uh, theater company show called He Love Performing and it was my favorite thing to uh, person show. And I know for a certain scene when we were inside, we wore masks. And that was just, you know, that was, a, that was what you had to do. But when we were outside, that was a whole different idea. And so we were able to still be safe, a safe distance, but also to act. And it, I think it came out really well. So it's just, it's been, I would say like Queen Park has just been like, let's do this. Let's get in the virtual realm. Let's do these Zooms, let's film. Like everything's just been mixed and it's really beautiful. Cool, that's awesome. And what a cool experience to have such a different freshman year than anyone's yeah. ever probably had right to be able to have that like it's just such a curveball thrown at this class and I think that it's cool to see how different universities are picking it up and making it work and then how people like you are just you know you just swing with it you got to do what you got to do and you're learning so much through it it's really weird like it's so weird and online schooling is so interesting it's <laughs> it can be really interesting it can be also very annoying at times just because you have like internet failure and all that mumbo jumbo but like you said you just got to do what you got to do and hopefully we can get out of this COVID era and we can just go back to classes um so, yeah. for sure yeah and you know most people i talk to it's being optimistic is what makes it yeah. work and i know personally that's that's you know that's a huge part of it is just like remaining optimistic and just kind of keeping that spirit and so I'd love to hear, how are you staying optimistic? What are you doing in your life to really uh, stay optimistic in this time, specifically, you know, in your situation and with performance in general, just looking into the future, what are you doing to just stay, you know, just optimistic about everything? 
So I would, so some of the things I've, I love to create, like I love to collab with people. That's like my favorite thing. And I've been creating stories. I've been writing stories. I want, hopefully with some of my friends, I'm able to uh, create like a little mini show, like little mini scenes and then put a song with that, you know, we already know. Um, I, I've also, I love music, obviously musical theater. And so I've been, uh, looking at musicals and finding songs for my rep, and that's always fun for me. Um, I play video games. Uh, it keeps me. <laughs> I, keep, I play video games sometimes. Um, really, I've also been doing this. Uh, I'm gonna start this thing where every morning I say like some goodwill. I express some goodwill through my story on Snapchat or my Instagram, and you know the put positivity in the world because I know recently there's been a lot of negative stuff. Uh, really tough stuff in my life and what made me feel better what I noticed was just putting that negative turning that negative energy around and turning it positive and for me if I can help someone just a little bit just a little bit that would make me so happy because in some degree it's almost like I'm talking to myself because I think we all we all share a similar feeling even if it just comes out a different reason right um but you know, that's some of the things I've been doing to stay optimistic. And of course, Broadway uh, has been doing certain things like a Broadway world. Uh, I, if I got the name wrong, I, I apologize. <laughs> On NBC, I believe. Uh, that was really fun to watch. I enjoyed that. Uh, some of my mentors have been really fun. Uh, MCA has been doing stuff with theater, which is awesome. We love it. So, I mean, that, those are some of the reasons. Those are some things I do to keep myself, you know, in the good region so yeah for sure that's that's great to hear so mca my college audition uh accepted company we'd love to talk a little bit about that and your experience with my college audition uh, i know that you had a great experience working with our coaches and um it's just it's such an amazing program that just prepares yeah. people like you to just have a leg up and be ready for you know the college audition process and beyond that really performing in the real world and continuing throughout your whole process and like as you're speaking to even as a freshman um, still being a big part of your life so i'd love to hear a little bit about your experience with my college audition and, and really what's that's done for you oh, i'm sorry i did not mean to interrupt you no, no <laughs> about, about, uh i just get so excited talking about mca um mca has been i would say a life savior uh of sorts not just through the performance but also just for me they've been I, I can name you, I can name, I, I name all the ones I work with, but I, to name a few, Erica, uh, Spire, I call her Yoda. That's my Yoda because she's like literally like the, I don't want to say it's a weird way, but she's like the older version of me. Like she has literally gone through similar experiences that I have. And she's just been the best to talk to. Um, the great thing about these teachers is that, or about, the, about these performers as teachers is that they're not just there to, they're not just there for the performance part. They're there for you. And that was an experience. That was just a great thing for me. Because I remember coming in, uh, I wasn't in the best region with like rep and where I wanted to do, not to mention I wasn't in the best sort of region with like some of my old mentors. But what MCA did for me is that uh, Number one, they wanted to work with my old mentors, which is awesome. I love that. But number two, they told me that their whole teaching is that they want to build up where they want to build up where you are, not change. And that's important because you want this uh, for this career. And I just remember uh, Chelsea. She helped me find some songs, uh, some monologues. And then I got a chance to work with uh, Justin Peterson, who is my guy. I love Justin. Just a beautiful singer. Oh, I cannot stress this enough. So there, guy. But like a beautiful singer. He's like literally my icon. Uh, I got a chance to work with Nail when it came to monologues. And God bless Nail. Amazing guy. I, but I had nicknames for all my, all my teachers. I, I think I called it Justin Obi-Wan at one point. Um, but <laughs> you can tell I'm a Star Wars fan, so I had to give my teachers nicknames. Um, just I I also got it. They also helped me with my um, interview for schools, which is also really interesting 
Um, I think that's something that I didn't know I would need, but wow, did they like really help me um, through that whole situation. I mean, they helped me, they even helped me with my mental state, uh, which is important for, especially for as a performer, mental health is just as important. Um, but every, you know, every teacher that from NCA that I got a chance to work with, I love. And they, I consider them as great friends. And I really do hope I get to work with them in the future. Um, MCA is the experience you need to take. It's like, it's just a great experience. And they're doing big stuff now. Uh, from what I read, they have dance classes. Uh, they're doing a business acting class, which I'm part of currently. Um, they're like, they're they're getting us, they're getting us ready, you know. <laughs> like they're like, listen, we're here for you. Let us teach you everything you need to know. Let's get it, you know. We'll get you on the right like spot for college. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. No, that that's that's exactly right. Yeah, and it's there's so many talented people that have given their time to be part of this, just to to pour into the next generation. And I, I love to see that. I love to hear. Um, stories like yours. So you mentioned mental health. That's such such a huge part of this whole process, and really just into college in general. And it's sometimes overlooked. And I'm I'm thankful that MCA does focus on that. Um, as far as that goes, and preparing for college auditions in general, do you have any advice, things that you've learned along the way, or things that you came across, or maybe tricks or tips for mental health and preparedness that? that you would like to share with someone who might be getting ready to go into that? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, I, I, I'll give two, can I give two? <laughs> uh, one of them is that just remember you're there for a reason that you wouldn't be there if you were not meant to be. That is so important. You should always go into any audition, not just college audition, to be in the mindset. I'm here for a reason. I was, I'm here because I was meant to be here. Always take that mentality to every audition you uh, second advice, I know I do a lot of meditation. Um, I kind of mix a exercise I got from a, one of my MCA coaches where it's called a correct, and I might be wrong, I'm just gonna explain it because I don't remember the name, but uh, it's where you breathe and you imagine energy like pouring inside you, like your solar aura and like whatever color you want. Usually it's like white, but you imagine that color and it's going through your, your body and you feel like a tingling sensation. And then you release it and it's supposed to calm you down for your audition. I used that for my Point Park audition actually and it helped a lot. Um, it really helped. And, but I made this mixture of where it was just a form of meditation where you imagine the energy going inside you. You breathe about four times, close your eyes, and say your affirmations to yourself. I always say, I'm a great singer, I'm a great dancer, I'm a great actor. Whatever, affirma whatever affirmation works for you, say that to yourself and breathe. And if you need to say that to yourself some more, go ahead and do it. But that's like something I would definitely try. You know, it, it, everything, everything's different for other people. But like I said, you're meant to be there, you wouldn't be there, you weren't. And that exercise I just talked Hopefully that helps. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, I think meditation is, is such a huge tool to help. Mm -hmm. with this. Just grounding yourself and just like getting your mind right about the situation you're in. And uh, with affirmations, yeah, mantras, that's such a, a great, easy way to get into it. So just, you know, having something that just reaffirms you and just, it helps you just to reshape your story, right? And to remember why you're here and that you're meant to be here and whatever your purpose might be in that situation. And so absolutely, I love to hear that you're embracing that. That's it's great. I think there's a lot of people out there that would benefit from that as well. So I'd love to talk about your goals a little bit. I know that you, uh, I mean, you're a very accomplished performer and you have some big goals for you. And I'd love to hear um, what's your vision for the future? What, what does Miles Hanna in the future look like? Where are you headed? Glad you asked. Oh, <laughs> by the way, I love the Black Keys shirt. I noticed that. I was just yes. like, I'm loving it right now. <laughs> For sure, um, Columbus, they're, they're neighbors, basically. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Um, I love the energy, I love the energy right now. Um, so I have a good amount of goals, but I like to pin my goals in these like four places. Number one, this is a big goal, but this is just how I view my career. I wanna be the greatest performer in history. And to people that might sound cocky or whatever, but why not make big goals for yourself? because you never know what's gonna happen. I mean, life is a risk to itself. 
you just going out every day could be a risk. And to sit in, and to wake up every morning and tell yourself, you're going to be the great performer in history, for me at least, has been the thing that pushes me forward every single day. I want to be where Lemon Well is at, where Shakespeare is at, where Song is at. I want to be remembered for performing 100%, performing at 100% every single performance. Like I, that, that's just my dream. I love musical theater. I love the art so much. And I just want to give it my all. Um, and to be, and I, to me, I love musical theater to the point where I love learning everything about it. And if I can come on stage and be like, sing my heart out, act my heart out, dance my heart out, all at the same time, that to me is a goal in itself. Uh, another goal, I want to help the young, I want to help the next generation on their way to their careers, and especially in the arts. Um, because so many times I hear a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends say, oh, well, I don't know about that. I, I mean, that's a little, like, too big, and blah, 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 blah. And if you, and it really depends on you, but why, but my whole thing is I want kids to know that there's so many things you do and that there's so many paths into what you want to do. Like, for example, be someone doing musical theater, if they went for a job interview that has nothing to do with the arts, they're gonna be, they're gonna, I honestly believe that they will get that in, they will get that job because they have, because you have that charisma, you have that energy, you know how to talk to people, you know how to look them in the eye and be like, hey, I'm here, I want this job. And that's something that I wanna give kids. I wanna give kids, I, first of all, I wanna make this place where kids are being taught by some of the top artists of the world that they are able to learn different forms of dancing, different forms of music, different forms of acting. Like, I want that for kids. And I'm, I, because I, in some degree, I also love teaching. That's another big thing for me, is I love teaching. Um, and if I can give something back to the youth and to the next generation, that would be great for me. Another goal of mine is I want to perform around the world. I would love to have that opportunity to perform around the world. Um, because, like, yeah, I, I love to perform in America, but performing in Canada or like the UK or China, like why would I now want to like have that experience like at least once in my life, you know what I mean? Because I want to, I like, I always see myself as like some sort of like, like some sort of uh, roaming Jedi. Like I'm, I'm just roaming everywhere, teaching and just doing my thing, doing my Jedi stuff. And that would be, just be amazing. And another thing is, another goal is to not have regrets in here. That is one of, that kind of fills them all. But I don't want to go in life thinking, dang, I kind of wish I would have did that. I want to go in life thinking, I did that. Like, I did that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did that song. Yeah, I, that song was hard at the time, but I did it. <laughs> You know, that, that dance move was, oh my gosh, I can't with the dance move. But that, I did that. And that to me is how I want to be. That's how I want to be remembered is that this guy, Miles Hanna, he did that. And he did that not just for himself, but for other people. I want to perform for people. That's mm -hmm. why I do it. Not just for myself, because I'm going to enjoy it anyway. Me being able to do this is just enjoyable. But the performing for people where they're like this, watching me perform <laughs> like that would just be yeah. freaking amazing you know what i mean so that those are my goals no that's that's awesome yeah and it's goals are so important and having big goals and like you said not limiting yourself to what you know of the world and what you know of where you are right now but having those goals and knowing that yeah maybe they're they're they sound crazy or maybe they sound like they they're so far out of reach but you have to have goals to even think about getting there to like it that's so important oh my god yeah so, yeah so so many of us limit ourselves by setting goals that we know we can achieve or that seem like something that uh is is realistic but i i'm such a fan of just setting those goals that are like i'm going for it i'm going all the yeah. way this is a moonshot i know it but like every day i'm telling myself back to the mantra idea right that's my mantra like i'm not you know i'm not going to disappoint myself i'm not going to miss the shot and so it's like just setting those goals and, and just taking that into who you are and part of your vision and it just it creates such an energy and I can totally see that with you so it's super cool and I'm excited to excited to watch you on your journey Yo, bro, you're my man bro you're my man let's go <laughs>
<laughs> so to step back in time for a second, I'd love to hear, how did you get into performing? What, like, was there a performance you saw? Was it in your family? Like, what really got you started? And you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going after this. I want to be the best in the world. Like, what, what did yeah, it I, Yeah, I got you. I, I'm going to tell this. I'm going to, like, tell the story that I tell all my clients. <laughs> Because it's such a dear, it's such a close uh, story of mine of how I got a musical theater. So growing up, music has always been part of my life. Now it was part. Now it was mostly through hip hop and R and B because that's very traditional. That's very, you know, like that's that's kind of like, you know, that's where I come from. You know what I mean? And but at the same time, I was also introduced to musical theater in some way. Like uh, I remember my auntie, she used to take me to see Christmas Spectacular because I was obsessed with it. Um, and her favorite show, her favorite movie is like White Christmas. Um, but I was introduced in the musical theater from my aunt and niece, from my grandma, from my dad, from my mom, in like very different ways. But it wasn't, an, and I did theater, but it wasn't something to me that I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Like, it's just like for fun. But then it wasn't until I went to New York, and this was 2012, the year 2012. And I forget what month, but... We were in New York, and the night before, we saw uh, Spider-Man Turn Out the Dark, which, as a kid, I was obsessed. I was like, Spider-Man, you sing? I'm okay with that. I, I can do that. <laughs> like, Green Goblin was a cool guy, so I can deal with that. <laughs> um, but, and I, again, I wanted to see it again. And I remember I was, like, begging my auntie to see but she was like, I'm sorry, I, only, I, I already bought tickets for Newsies. And I'm like, Newsies? What's that? That sounds lame. Like, I don't want to see Newsies. And when she explained the plot to me, I was just being a brat. And I was just like, that sounds dumb. I don't want to watch that. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's like, and number one was a great show. But anyway, we, and the thing that topped it all off was that she made me wear this white Easter suit. Oh my gosh. I hated wearing that. She made me wear that. After I said, Aunt Denise, that's my aunt, by the way, but I didn't clarify. I was like, oh my God. Uh, aunt Denise, I, I don't want to wear this. No one's going to be dressed up for the theater. And she's like, no, everyone dresses up all the time. Don't worry. I'm like, no, they don't. <laughs> but she made me wear it. So we arrived to the theater. I'm obviously overdressed. Everyone's in hoodies and memorabilia. They're wearing the music caps and everything. And I'm just like, are you serious, Aunt Denise? You really did this to me. And <laughs> then we finally got into the theater. I was blown. I've never seen musical theater like this. The dancing was amazing. I saw people like doing pirouettes and plies and doing all these and tap dancing and like the one choreography with the newspaper. Like I just never seen anything like this. And then what topped it all off. And by the way, and when, by the way, going back to when I said that was me. That was me. I was the one who was watching the show. Like, and my aunties was like. Are you okay? Like, I was frozen in time. <laughs> but. We lost. He cut out for a second. Okay. I'm okay. back. There we go. Uh, we topped it all off with Jeremy Jordan singing Santa Fe. When he sung Santa Fe, I have never heard someone sing like that. Never. And not saying any of the other shows weren't amazing. But he just was amazing. Like, he, the way he was able to, like, control his voice and the way that he was able to add, like, emotion, almost like he was about to cry up there. Like, just thinking about it makes me tear up just how beautiful it was. I love Jeremy Jordan. He's literally like, my icon. He's, like, one of, he's, like, my main icon who got me into the game. And when he sung that last note, oh, my gosh. Derek, oh, <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And from there on, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to do music with people. I want to sing like that. I want to be on stage by myself and sing in front of a huge audience mm -hmm. and just have them blown away. Just that I like, and sing with everything I got. Oh, that's like a dream of mine to have. 
Like that's literally one of my heroes. And I, I just won't ever forget it. And the great thing was that was the night before the 2012 tone. So that's why they're all hyped up. <laughs> that's why they're all like, we gotta it's kill it. Yeah, it's a good time to yeah, get exa- it. Ex- exactly. <laughs> like exactly. So you know, that's that's kind of where my origin story started from. And obviously, you're you always have an origin story. It's gonna continue on YouTube, whatever. But that's like my that's how I was like, yeah, musical theater. Jeremy Jordan, I gotta like sing with him one day. That's gotta happen. Yeah, I gotta be yeah. where he's at. You know? Let's make that happen for sure. Let's that's make that true. happen. Yes. yes. What a great story to to have that moment to visualize too. And like again, going back to like what we've been talking about this whole time, just like mindset, but like being able to. To, to see that and, and know like that is my goal is to have such a tangible example of like where you want to go and why you're doing what you're doing it's it's just a it's a great story and really cool and i'm glad that glad you wore that suit and it all worked out <laughs> i know right that was, i know right in, in some degree i was like on denise and then like when she, i was like okay i forgive you i forgive you <laughs> because of the show yeah you know, just to mention i haven't felt that way and Except for when I saw Jack a little pill recently. And Lauren Patton, I, I'm sorry, I just feel like I gotta say this. Lauren Patton, amazing. <laughs> like when she sung, um, I forget the song. Uh it was like like her last solo, but um oh my gosh, she killed that. Anyway, as you were saying, I'm sorry, I just feel like I had yeah. to it. I love that. I think it's it's amazing and I, I you can just I can feel it in you. It's really cool just how See how the arts move us, right? How theater and just the arts in general just move us. And I think that's why, that's what we all come back to, why we do this, and especially in a year like yes. this, why we keep doing it. It's just, it's, it's such an incredible breathing thing that just, it, it just grabs a hold of us. And, and you need that. You need you do, absolutely. And I love to hear it in your story. Well, Miles, thank you so much for your time. This has been an awesome conversation. I know I'm leaving energized and ready to go crush it this week. <laughs> I'm sure everyone Yo, else let's, Come on, big dreams, Derek, big dreams. Yes. Is there anything else that you want to share with us? I don't want to, I don't want to leave anything on the table. If you've got anything else you want to share, any last words of wisdom, anything everybody should hear about you? Um, number one, I, what I really want everyone to take from this is that you all have your origins. You all have something, you all have a story in your mind that you're like, yeah, that's why I do this. And don't forget that. You know, if we, if we think of ourselves, like, for example, right, I think some of the coolest feelings is when you're done with the show and you come out and you're in your regular clothes, right? And everyone, and like, maybe people don't notice you, but maybe they do. But that's kind of a cool experience because it's like you're a superhero, right? Like you wore your costume, now you're going back into your 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 regular or whatever. You put on your Ken, your Ken, uh, Clark Kent glasses, and you're with everyone. You're with everyone, and the coolest thing is that you. It's just oh, that's your origins. That's a beautiful feeling to think that even if no one knows you were able to perform on stage and come out like whatever. You did it effortless. And obviously we all know nothing that people do is effortless. It takes a lot of work. That's just how it is. But that's a cool thing. So don't forget that. And don't forget your origin story. Your origin story will be, that's going to be the thing that's going to take you to the top. That's what's going to take you to the top. Work ethic, remembering your origin story, and putting in the work. And confidence. Because like we, like I said before, like we, like both me and Derek said before, life is a risk, and you need to be, you want to go for that risk. Don't be scared to leave, because I'm telling you, you're gonna get something out. You are, you are. It's just that's just what's gonna happen because life always throws you curveballs. But it's gonna throw you straight, and you're gonna hit that. So that that's all I have to say. I know I'm just dripping off. Wisdom, <laughs> just like no, yeah, but. this is great. This is this is what everyone needs to hear. It's really awesome. So, Miles, where can people follow you? Where can we find you and watch you? You know, make your way to the top. Definitely. Um, hold on, let me grab my Instagram. Um, you can reach me at Miles underscore Hannah twenty seven. Um, if you want to follow my YouTube, I'm kind of still starting it, but uh, I have some videos I want to post, uh, and you can follow me. 
you can follow that by uh, Orange Hero, all caps, Orange Hero. I it's just a name I thought of. It sounded really cool. At the time. Love it. If you want to follow up my Snapchat, I <laughs> uh, it's Big House Mouse, all lowercase. Don't ask why. It just is. <laughs> We've got I a lot of fly now. <laughs> <laughs> like, short, long story short, I was trying to think of a clever name because I saw how people had clever names. And I was like, ooh, can the house. Big house knows. It just, <laughs> that's just a joke that oh, everyone's like, dude, it's not that cool. Like, <laughs> but if it's cool but if to I'm, you, it works. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If it's cool to me, that's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Miles. Again, I really appreciate your energy and your optimism. It's been really great getting to know you and chat with you. And, and thanks for thanks for being on today. I I, really, I hope we get to talk again. For sure. Uh, it doesn't have to be through interview. Maybe just we're just exchanging like good holidays and all. That. For sure. Awesome. Thanks, Miles. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Bye. See ya.